What's up YouTube? This is Bait here and today I'm gonna bring you guys that 104 turn long Pokemon online battle that I've been talking for a while now. I think I mentioned it like a uh, last week or so But I finally figured that this would be this fine Saturday You know you guys have time to watch a bit of a longer match and many people did want to see it It was a pretty interesting match uh, long turns and uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into the team preview because uh, I don't want to ramble too much I do that after the match if need be but uh, this is like like I said like a week old match So uh, I'm using the rain team here that you guys uh, do remember quite well I think already and my opponent just has a really solid uh, standard team Nothing really really bad to say about it. We both have blissies as our special walls so our special attackers my my Tornadus, his Hydreigon won't really be doing too much as long as those uh, Blissies are around. And, uh, you know, Tornadus is my team's uh, main sweeper all around. Uh, but uh, spoilers of this match, you know, both of us really weren't able to get the momentum going on for ourselves. So that is why the match was so long. But without further ado, you know, let's just jump right into the match. Since it is so long after all. So I leave with the Politoed. I go into my uh, Go into my Foragress as the Blissey goes for T-Wave. I figured I could just, uh, you know, pretty much use this thing as a setup faller. Although I do know he has a Starmie on his team, which most likely does have the uh, Rapid Spin. But at least I can get some, uh, you know, free switches going on for myself. So it's fine. But uh, I get one para hacks. There were a few more Parahaxes that were kind of unfortunate. This one wasn't too big of a deal. But then again, you know, it's Pokemon hacks is hacks. Let's not talk about that. Anyways, my Fortress is running low on health. So what I'm going to do is just uh, send out my Blissey here. Just to make a wish for it, hopefully. But in comes Starmie. I know it's going to wrap its spin. So I'm just hoping to uh, surprise it with a surprise. Uh, Surprise it with the surprise. Surprise it with the surprise thunder. There we go. It, but it unfortunately does only like a 61% since it's a, you know, it's a Blissey. And Blissey doesn't have that much offensive uh, power. But here I'm pretty sure he already went for a rabbit spin. He can't really do anything to me. I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch out. So I might as well make make a wish, which I do. In comes Gliscor, goes for the toxic. I just go in for a trisk because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, you know, wall him to oblivion. And, uh... I just go for the Stealth Rocks again, and I was pretty sure he would just go for the Rapid Spin. So what I decided to do is uh, go for the uh, Vault Switch, but of course I get the Parahax. You know, I, I guess I could have just gone for the Dry Switch, but I also wanted to get some damage on him, because I know that it will do at least a decent chunk, maybe something around 30%. But anyways, I decide to go back into Blissey because I'm pretty sure he's gonna attack me this time and he does go for the Hydro Pump. He definitely wants to get rid of my spinner too. And uh, I just go back into Blissey, go for the Safe Thunder. He predicts this really nicely, goes into his Gliscor. And since I'm pretty sure he's, you know, not gonna go for Toxic this time, since he knows I have Fortress to take it, I go into my Tornadus, which uh, does sponge the EQ instead. And he's just gonna go for the Protect here. As I go for my hurricane, so he's gonna be ready for. He's gonna be, you know. Overall, it was the safest option to see what I'm going to lock myself into. And uh, he has this Jirachi, which does turn out to be. Uh, I think it's specially defensive since it took the hit so well. So besides uh, Blissey, I have this thing to worry about. So what I'm going to do is go back into my fortress uh, just to uh, pretty much wall him and to set up my entry hazards again because uh you know at least he won't be iron head flinching me to death since i'm at full health well he could try but you know it's gonna take a million years since i'm max hp max defense so i'm gonna go for my own rabbit spin and there the stealth rocks disappear really nice animation going on here on po animator but anyways i'm gonna go back into my blissey this time just to sponge the hit again and uh He's gonna go for his own rabbit spin. I think I just go for the uh, thunder here. Yup, I do. That's 64%. And I think he's just gonna switch out on the next turn and go back into Glide Score. Do I go for Wish or Thunder? Yes, I just go for the Thunder because that that Star Me basically is big trouble for my team, especially since it has to recover and my uh, Thunders are only able to do like a uh, 60. 
4% and he's able to heal 50 and you know he has this glide score to sponge those at hundreds and I can't do anything to it because uh, you know he, he has the poison heal obviously. But uh, I go back into forages, switch back into Blissey since I can wall him. This is pretty much a back and forth many occasions with this uh, Blissey and Starmie and glide score and uh, his uh, glide score and my forages and he goes for the he goes for the recover again. My Thunder actually did like 70%, which is pretty darn good. But he's just gonna keep recovering off. I make a wish this time because I was kind of expecting him to uh, go back into his uh, into the uh, Glide Score again. But I just go for the Thunder because I know even if he goes back into his Glide Score, he you know he can't really do anything to me since he's a toxic stalling set. So I can just uh, safely go back into my. Uh, Fortress whenever I want and uh, I go for the Thunder. <laughs> he goes into Glide Score. This time he actually pulls a double switch, goes into his Hydreigon as I go into my Fortress, which is pretty nice. And I don't want to stay in, and I, go I can go back into my Blissey. And especially since it's raining, he can't do anything with a Fire Blast. Does like 12%. And I think I just make another wish. Or, or wait, I actually pull a double switch since I knew that I, uh, you know, rain decreased uh, fire blast would, wouldn't do anything to my uh, tornadoes, anyways. And I can just uh, go for the hurricane and just, you know, try to at least hit something, you know, although it doesn't really do that much. But uh, in comes the uh, Jirachi. Um, I guess at this point I could try to go for the two hit KO, but then again, I don't want to get paralyzed or anything. So I'm just gonna go into my Swampert. He actually turns out to be having the Thunder Wave, which works better in my favor. And I think I just go for the safe Waterfall right here. Yes, I do. It is boosted by the rain. But still, that Hydreigon takes it like a beast, because uh, it doesn't even do half, even though it's rain boosted, choice banded Swampert. But, uh, you know, Hydreigon does li have like a pretty solid base 90 uh, defenses all around. So I guess that explains it. But anyways, here I go into my uh, Swampert. I thought that I could take a hit better, but since I'm not running ma uh, max defense, uh, the CC is actually a solid two hit KO. So I'm not going to be able to retaliate with Swampert. So I have to switch out directly, go into Fortress, who does take the hit much better since I'm running max HP, max defense on this thing. And I go for the Vault Switch. I luckily do not get the Parahax and I, I'm, I'm able to get the first KO of the day. So finally, uh, it's a uh, five to six now, but uh, there's still a lot to go. I go into my tornadoes as uh, he goes into his Jirachi to wall me. Uh, I just U-turn out of here and I go back into Swamp. But one of the few times I'm using actually a move that's not Hurricane on the uh, tornadoes. But anyways, I go for the safe waterfall. He was expecting EQ, but since it's rain boosted, you know why not go for the waterfall? And he doesn't have water type immunities, anyways. So, in comes Terrakion though, he's gonna be able to uh, take me out and I didn't really want to go into Fortress directly because uh, it would not really be enjoying to uh, taking too many of those uh, CCs, so I really want to keep it uh, as healthy as I can. And since it's locked into CC, I just go into my uh, Tornadoes and I'm just gonna go for the Hurricane. He actually gets confused, I might be able to get the 2-hit KO, but he goes back into his Blissey. Which does get confused though, but I can't really stay in because it's a blizzy. So I go into my Raikou. I'm kind of just trying out different strategies at uh, this point uh, since uh, you know this battle isn't really <laughs> going anywhere. But uh, he T waves me and I get out of here again. I go back into my blizzy. I do have a rest on my Raikou, so I can get rid of the uh, paralyzation later if I need and uh, I just can. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna make another wish. In comes the uh, Terra Kion. And I, l let's see, I just go for Protect, because uh, I kind of wanted to see uh, what he would uh, lock himself into, so that, uh, you know, if it's Stone Edge, you, you know, or CC, I can uh, safely go into whatever I want. But, uh, you know, I see that uh, Forest Rest is still the better best option here. I actually don't have too much against it, this thing. Besides my uh, Fortress right here, and he actually does decide to switch out. He doesn't want to risk uh, not uh, getting the KO, and I just go for the Wall Switch again. And from this range, I should be able to take out the uh, Jiraji. So I go for the uh, Hurricane right here, but in comes the Blizzy though. So after I got one wall, so down all health, he still has the second one to take my hits, which uh, really uh. <laughs> piss me off to be honest but I go back into my fortress 
I think I just uh, tried to set up some uh, entry hazards again, but I get paralyzed, which is rather unfortunate. And I think I switch into my own Blissey because uh, I'm running low on health again, so I do want to make a wish so that I can heal the Fortress, because Fortress is definitely something uh, that I really need in this match in order to win. And he actually goes back into his Jirachi. It is actually really surprising that uh, I don't think at this point or even later he doesn't go directly into his Terrakion on my Blissey. So that means I can actually pass a wish right here since he didn't go into his Terrakion who could easily just CC. So uh, he goes for rocks, I set up some spikes, I got my wish so I'm uh, at a healthy shape again and I think I just, uh, I don't know, I don't even know. I think I was gonna either rapid spin or set up uh, more spikes or stealth rocks but uh, you know I get hacked. That is unfortunate but I go in my Blissey he knows that I'm gonna switch out, so he makes a good t good play and just uh, goes for the U-turn. Again, I'm really surprised that he did not go into Terrakion, because he could have gone for easy CC again, and you know, I don't know. Although, you know, my Forest was at full health, but I think the safest play would have been Terrakion. But anyways, whatever. Uh, he goes for one flinch here with the Iron Head, uh, but it isn't really doing anything, so I think he's just gonna switch out. Yes! And he goes back into his uh, back into his high dragon. I go for a second layer of spikes. There you can see I got two layers of spikes right there. He goes for the fire blast, which does miss, and I get off my vault switch. Really should have just gone back into my blissey, but then again, uh, whatever. I I decide to go into tornadoes instead since he did lock himself into the fire blast. Since in the rain I can take a hit. But in comes the Blissey again to sponge my Hurricane, so I have to get out of here. So I go into my Fortress, and I think I'm just gonna try to get off a uh, Rapid Spin here, since, uh, you know, it's kind of chipping away my uh, health from my uh, Tornadoes. So, oh wait, I got Parahax again, that, that figures. Those Parahaxes kind of pissed me off during the match, but, uh, you know, it happens. Finally, I get the Rapid Spin off, so that's nice. So if he wants to set up his rocks again, he will have to go back into his Dorachi, but then again, the Rachi can't really do anything to my Fortress. So that's the situation going on right here. I'm just trying to put some pressure on him now that his uh, spinner is gone. And I go back into my Blissey, I kind of just want to make a wish here, just to pass it back to Fortress to have it at a uh, full health. Because again, you know, it's the Terrakion which really scares me, but as long as I can keep my Fortress alive, you know, I should have better chances against this team. And I go for my final layer of spikes. I really should have set up, you know, stealth rocks on the way so that, uh, you know, I can deal with the uh, high dragon better. But then again, I do have Blissey, who is a perfect counter to uh, every special variant of uh, high dragon anyways. And this one is perfectly, this one is specially, specially based on uh, high dragon completely. As most of them are, and you know, High Dragon, uh, you, you know, can't even learn the trick, so uh, pretty safe thing here. But, anyways, in comes the Rachi again. I think I just go back into Fortress. Yes, I do. He goes for Iron Head, gets a crit, still doesn't really do much. It was like 18%. Thanks to my max defense spread that I have on this thing, and I think, yes, this time I do get off the Vault Switch. Kind of a risky because I could have got the Parahax again. But, oh well. I probably should have just gone for the uh, Stealth Rocks, but at least I get the safe switch into my Blissey, so I don't have to risk the, you know. Of course, there's always the chance for Draco to crit and go through my defenses. But anyways, I do get off the wish again. And I think we're soon closing in on the end. And I go for the Thunder. I was really hoping to at least get the uh, Parahax on this uh, Jirachi, just to get some sort of edge on it. Because, you know, this Jirachi, although it can't really do too much to me, I can't really do mu too much to him in return. So it's causing me trouble. So, you know, Parahax cutting his speed in half would definitely help if I could just, uh, you know, get it. But it doesn't happen. And I think I go into, yeah, I just go back into Forages just to, uh, you know, pretty much wall him. And uh, I think I'm just going to set up my rocks or, or I go for the Vault Switch. Whatever. I seriously don't remember what happens at this point. Uh, anyways, I go into my Raikou. I think at this point I'm trying to, uh, you know, set up a few call mines and go from there. He actually goes for the Iron Head, which is which is 
pretty good because uh, now I can finally go for the rest because at full health I don't think even though you're paralyzed I don't think you can go for the rest and there I finally go for it and I think I'm just gonna go for the sleep talk hopefully nail something get a calm mind or thunder or something but uh, of course I would get the rest of course and he's gonna make another wish and he's gonna unfortunately pass it to high dragon but there isn't really anything that I can uh, do about it I go f I get the thunder but it only lasts does like a uh, 24% and he's gonna get the half of uh, Jirachi's health so he's back to green but then again I do have Blissey to take his hit <laughs> but he goes back into his Jirachi we're going back and forth and I definitely would have been nice to set up the rocks for the stealth rocks the rocks for the uh, high dragon that way I could have possibly already taken out the high dragon but I didn't since I was kind of dumb but anyways, I go back into my Raikou. I'm just gonna try to get something nice with the uh, with the Sleep Talk. Even a Thunder would help because it would get some damage and possibly the 30% chance of uh, paralyzing the Jirachi. And I go for it, I go for the Thunder, still no para, but it actually does nice uh, 37% even though I haven't invested in the Spec Attack. This is actually a standard spread on a... Uh, Smogan.com that I found really interesting and I, and I really wanted to try it out. Try it out. It has gotten me uh, like a few sweeps, but uh, other than that, it's kind of still a gimmicky set. But uh, I go my go for my sleep talks and I think I just wake up here and I go, I go for the calm mind. In comes the high dragon. I think I'm gonna. I'm not sure if I stay in here or not. Let's see. Yes, I go for the rest, because I was kind of thinking he would be Scarfed, but it turns out he is not Scarfed. So I was expecting him to go for the Draco, then I could rest that off, and then after minus, uh, minus 2 attack, you know, uh, I would be uh, in a healthier condition to deal with him. But now at this point, I'm all, all also pretty sure that this Terrakion is his Scarfer, since the High Dragon is not, since I, I have confirmed that at this point. So anyways, I go into my fortress, I get couple really unfortunate parahaxes here. So uh, I won't be able to get off the vault switch and now basically I have nothing against this Terrakion. I can go into my Tornadus, uh, you know, but I only have to, I have to bring it out safely like this. I cannot switch into those, uh, into those hits and here finally I get some payback hacks. Or not finally. It was kind of, you know, instant karma right there. And it was a crit on the Blissey. And in comes Jirachi. And after the, uh, after the spikes damage, it's in a range for my uh, Hurricane to actually KO here. And here everything goes bad for him because he goes for the stone miss and indeed it misses. I was like, screw it. At this point, the only thing I'm going to be using this uh, uh, Tornadus for is uh, hitting that thing once more or maybe hitting this high dragon but it doesn't even matter but you know the stone miss happens but then again he, he got the couple really unfortunate para hacks on my fortress but indeed it was a really hacksy end and that high dragon actually lived the hits with one percent i didn't even notice but uh, that means i just i can just uh, go back into my blissey and uh revenge kill with thunder he's actually able to get a hit off but it doesn't even matter because i Take him out and that leaves the game in a trio in my favor. It was a bit hacksy at the end, but I still hope you guys enjoyed. At the like it was just really funny how fast everything went at the end, but we we were both struggling get, to get the momentum going on. And then there was a bit of a unfortunate hacks at the both ends because he hacks my uh, best counter to his uh to his Terrakion and then I just hacked everything with Tornadoes and Hurricane. But that was the match for today, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and I really don't feel like rambling anymore because um, I seriously have a sore throat that right now so I have to go drink water or something because this was, I've been rambling for like almost 20 minutes here so I really ho hope that you guys did enjoy this ma match though and tomorrow uh, I guess I'm gonna post some Wi-Fi but I have to look what I could post, I think I have one one match uh, already screen recorded that I could post, but I have to look into it. And I also did one live narration already uh, earlier today, but I'm gonna save it for tomorrow most likely as well. 
So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. And this will be all for today. Now we're at the 20 minute uh, mark too. So that's enough of rambling for today. Definitely. So thank you for watching. Until next time. This is the Flaming Spade. Signing out. Peace.